Okay, Year 8, I'm just going to do a quick YouTube clip of the assignment, the I Can Do assignment. Now, I've go, you've, if you look on uh, Google Classroom and on your, with your relevant teachers and the websites that they use and the platforms that they use, you should be able to find the sample solutions, which I have here. But I'm making a video because I want to talk to you about it and how you should be completing it. Now remember, this sort of assignment has no boundaries. You can go and make something as difficult as you like or keep it simple uh, and just get the right marks or show us that you can do good, the good basic mathematics. Now, the, even though we would love you to try and extend yourself, be careful of going and making it too complicated because sometimes when you do that, you actually make mistakes, which will then penalise you because you get it wrong. So I've done some solutions here and I haven't done all of them because you need to also do some questions on your own. So for example, here's question one and it's converting units. Now, here's uh, the first one. And this one's the first one, you have to convert metres to centimetres. And I went, well, five metres. I just go times 100, and that's pretty good. But you know, this one, I used a decimal here to show that I can multiply by, that's a little bit better. And the same over here. There's not too much you can do with measurement in your conversions as long as you know how to do them. Be careful of this, it's a double jump. All right. Uh, and make sure you do each example. I've only done A and C, you've got to do A, B, C and D. Now, what about this one here? I can find the perimeter of a triangle. Well, this one's good. It's a nice, easy right angle triangle. You don't have to show that. How do I fix so You've got a question. Remember, you've got to write the question here. Find the perimeter of. And I've got a diagram. Here's my triangle. And then I've got my working, here's my solution, 5 plus 12 plus 13, 30 centimetres, and I put the units. Now that's good. This one here, this one here is a little bit better. Why is it a little bit better? Well, it's got three measurements, and one is not in the same unit, so you have to do a conversion. So I convert them all to centimetres. They're already in centimetres, but I have to divide that one and make it in by 10 and make it... 3.5 centimetres. So that one is just a little bit better. It shows a little bit better of understanding. Now, be careful when, be careful when you do your triangle. For example, this triangle here cannot be drawn. If you want to have a go at it, try, but because, because the longest side is eight and the two shorter sides are seven, four and three add up to seven, you can't draw this triangle. It doesn't exist. This triangle cannot be drawn. So be very careful when you're making up a question. Make sure the triangle or the shape that you have is able to be constructed or drawn. Here's another one. Find the perimeter of a rectangle. So you have to find the perimeter of a rectangle given two adjacent sides. This is good. Two metres, four metres. Add up all the sides. Good on you. Well done. Units are there. This one's a little bit better because... This one just is a worded question. There's no diagram. And we've got 3.2 kilometres and I've got 3,000 metres. So different units. And in the solution, I get a diagram and I get two answers, one in kilometres and one in metres. So that is a really good example of someone who might extend themselves. If I move on, here's a circumference of a circle, find the circumference of this circle, and I have to do it given the diameter. This one has a diameter, it's just pi times the diameter. There we go, rounded off to four decimal places. Good. This one is a little bit better. Why is it a little bit better? Because the question, right, there's the question, doesn't give you the diagram. The diagram comes from the solution. And it's got 2.1 metres millimetres in there. You can have a go at the perimeter of a semicircle on your own. 
Now here's an example of an angle between a sector of a circle of angle between 90 and 120. All right, so I've drawn, and pretty accurately, 140 degrees, and I've said that the radius is 7 metres. So my perimeter, 7 plus 7, 140 on 360, pi times 14. That line is essential. You must show that line. You, it's all about showing you're working. This final answer is not as important as the line of working. And that's a pretty good example. If you can show that, you're pretty good. But how could you make it better? Well, maybe you could have an angle in degrees, minutes, and seconds, or just in degrees and minutes. You think about something. Now, I did one here for a composite shape. This took me a while. This is pretty hard. I had to play with it a bit. So I drew a shape and I had to make sure my shape existed. I've got um, a 5 here, a 15 here, and a 7 there. They're all in the same units. There's the other side of a rectangle. There's the other side of that triangle. It's an isosceles triangle because this is 7, not 5. It's only isosceles. And I've got half of a circle. So I've got my 5, my 5, my 15, my 15, half of pi times 7. And look at that. It pops out to be 51 which is in the range that I need. Remember the range that you have to have it is between 50 and 60. It takes quite a bit of work to do that and work it all out. Now when you're doing this, and if you can do that, you, if you can, if you can get something shaped, and it doesn't have to have, you only have to have a rectangle and a triangle or a semicircle or part of a circle, as long as you've got a composite shape. Now, if you want to make it better, you could try some things, but please be careful because you need to make the sure you need to make sure that the shape that you draw works for a start, and that it can be constructed. All right, it can be constructed. For example, if you draw, if you say, "Oh, I'm going to have a semicircle," all right, on top of a triangle. And this semicircle, I'm going to make that 20 metres, and I'm going to make that 7 metres. Well, that doesn't, that doesn't exist. That triangle doesn't exist. 7 plus 7 doesn't equal, 7 plus 7 equals 14. Right? I wouldn't, they wouldn't join. They'd only go to about there and there. You can't get them to join. So be very careful about how you do this. Make sure that your shape can be drawn and does exist. Anyway, there are the examples. You, uh, some examples about what you can do. Remember, write your question, find the perimeter of, find the circumference of. Sometimes in your question you can have one, for example, here that doesn't have a diagram, but in your solution, make sure you have the diagram. You can play with different units, but make sure your solution is correct. And uh, don't make one, don't make one that cannot exist. All right, good luck, you